Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being so consistent. As you can see, today is a special edition of Unfiltered Journeys. Today I am here with the one and only Paul Flomo of Liberia. And a little secret, he's my favorite comedian. <laughs> <laughs> he left my read 2017, 2018, and 2019. So I'm really glad to be doing this and showing you guys another side of him. So how are you doing? Well, I'm doing great. My special grace of God. Yeah. yeah. Recently I heard about the stuff that happened. Yeah. Well, just a special grace of God. I, I saw that the accident. Okay. So welcome to Feel the Journeys. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah. So, um... A lot of people know that you're a comedian and that you're funny and that you make a lot of interesting content but I don't think they really know how you got into comedy so how did you get into comedy thank you for that question sure many people don't know how I got into comedy because you just gotta know the, the name Paul Flomo oh I got into comedy during the Ebola crisis I think that was 2014 yeah yeah when I met uh, Liberian filmmaker, a director, a producer called Dreamwell and Divo. Okay. Yeah. They were shooting a Ebola documentary at the real TV in Tupuru there. So I truth FM mm -hmm. So a friend of mine told me at the time we were living in Bannersville, he told me, he said, oh man, I got a set for going on and they're doing an Ebola documentary. I think you need to come with me. I said, no, I'm I'm not part of the shoot, so I don't want to be there to embarrass myself. myself. So he said, no, you can come. Just come along. You know how we do a movie. You come along. Sometimes the writers see you. Some space can be there for you. Yeah, you feel in parts of yeah. people that, that are not around. So he encouraged me. I actually went with him. Put one or two costumes in my bed. But we went. For everywhere to go to shoot, the open camera, I would be there. And, you know, and monitoring the scenes. See how they do on the work and stuff. So they were talking about playing a jungle character. <laughs> yeah. And then the guy behind the camera said that, but this guy can do it. He's a comic face at the time. He said, this can do it. And then I said, oh, let the person speak for the self. I said, can you do it? I said, yes, I can do it. He said, okay, go and wait for me. After the scene, we get it. So after the scene, he got on me and he gave me the character. And I portrayed the character exactly what the director wanted and what I gave. And I even gave my more own, than what more than what he expected from me so he was like pleased with what i did and he was so shocked to see or act a comedian or or drunk a character and a comedian form for someone within liberia that oh, so wow. after the shoot he told me he said but and there's a name we hook up i will be shooting at oro in three days time come on the set but you should be there by eight o'clock a.m and unfortunately, I live the traffic too much. So I got that thing was 10, something after 10. Oh, wow. And he was shooting with the famous comedian at the time, John Flomo. When John Flomo just came, you know John Flomo is the time, by that time. <laughs> yeah, so when I get it, because you know all his stuff being in Ghana. So it was not like something that the like Liberian system was a Ghanaian system already in him. So he said, we don't do that also. Director don't wait for cars. Cars go on the set before time. Or be there on time. So I'm not working with you, you can leave. But me being someone I have passion for what I do, my bag on my back, any step they take the shoot different scene, I will always appear when you turn around you see me. See, I told you to leave. But I will stay high and I will stay there. So that high desire to work with me. Means that I will shoot more comedy with me from day to day. By the special grace of God and the support from my Liberian people in and out of Liberia. You guys get to know the name Paul Flo today. Yeah, and we've enjoyed your works. Thank you. Uh, for years now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before you met um, the director you're talking about, were you already into comedy? No. Oh, you were not? I was into filmmaking. I was a filmmaker. Oh, nice. But I was not a comedian. Yeah, I was doing like village movie. I was doing a city film, playing a gangster character, but I was not really focusing on comedy, although everything is part of the filmmaking. Okay, so are you still doing 
Unfinished movies and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a, com- I'm a comedian since 2014 up to now. Even 2014, 2015, I had the most standard movie too. Oh, okay. I portray any character. Once I'm given the street, I digest the street and give you exactly what you want. Nice. Talent speaking. <laughs> okay, recently you posted something on your Facebook page about how Liberian bloggers don't blog about comedians, how they take sides, they only post about musicians and mothers and other people and much, much attention is not given to filmmakers. So what led you to say that? Yeah, I said that and I'm saying it again. You see, I've been in this business for a very long time, okay. from Ghana to Liberia. And with me, our own setting, when it comes to blogger, people blogging, I follow almost every blogger, all the bloggers which you get on social media I follow up. In Liberia. Yeah, I read their headline, the stories and things whatsoever. Bloggers in Liberia focus mainly, like I said, only on the music industry, the musicians, sometimes the Marios or some other issue outside the box. Everything musician do, even your musician. Still here today, now in year well, I feel lonely. They will post it. Oh, so and so artist saying he feel lonely. Oh, but he's not getting a break from the current. This and that, that's in there. But they forget to know the film industry is very large. And we, as a filmmaker, we have a great impact when it comes to entertainment in Liberia. Yeah. See the life of Atu Frank. He's one of the person that Liberia will forever remember, even when you leave the film industry today. We're making great impact in society, but people don't look to all. Oh, they don't. They, they don't even share. If I post my comedy flyer, blogger don't read, share. They don't talk about it. I got new film coming out. They don't talk about it. Somebody doing premiere, they don't really talk about that person premiere. Someone doing audition, they don't really talk about that person audition. Someone having a show, they don't talk about that person having a show. The only time you see blogger post me, mostly a filmmaker. Is that person in a situation? Negative situation. Nah, negative situation. That's the time they go for you. Yeah, yeah, my God. No, said the yeah. Same thing. no disrespect. One more other end try to do it. But the margin is very wide. Yes, I follow them too. Yeah, the, ma- the, the margin the is very, push. very wide. People are trying to fly the flare of Liberia upside. True. One word or the industry belongs to entertainment. It not belongs to musician, it not belongs to comedian, filmmaker, like whatsoever. All of you. We are on a one umbrella. That would say Liberia entertainment. So they need to change their mindset. That's it. That's what okay, I'm so speaking of the entertainment industry in Liberia, it's wide, like you said, but it has been faced with a lot of challenges over the years. So, what do you think can be done to actually bring the industry up, like to put them on time with other countries? We gotta change our mindset. We all gotta work together on one umbrella. Again, we have to do a world piracy. The pirate movie, let me just speak on the film industry for now. Mm-hmm. The pirate movie is supporting the industry. You have people have one movie. Even the way the Philippines say when I when in the, in the Philippines when the people got six and ten, when you come in abroad, it will got six and thirty. Hmm. Because they just said down where cut it. Mm-hmm. They cut the film. I've seen it. Down where cut yeah, the film. Yeah, one season with twelve episodes. You yeah. come in like where you have one season with two episodes. And we got movie that just one hour forty five minutes or sometimes one hour plus. You said it just for hundred dollars. You're not going for you're going for Mara and Mara. You're going for the other testing and all the Philippines and show them. It's not helping. And when musician produce the song before somebody song leave the studio, sometimes already on somebody's phone. True. So the engineering too got to the engineering too got to keep fresh out of business. That's somebody's career. There's a career fee. There's a profession that people sign for. There's a profession that other people live in my body for on the table one of me. So I don't just joke with it. But anyway, I appreciate those Liberians trying so hard. I love in their own team. If you want to work with some people, you invest in the cash. I highly appreciate it. And people like you, I try to reach out to my brand celebrity, interview them, 
know what's up with the game industry, I highly appreciate people with it. So we just gotta change our mindset, focus on our own thing, love our own thing. That's how they can do Speaking of people posting things on social media and not realizing that the whole world is going to see, um, do you have any big, I feel like, be real, pre qualified housemate that you're supporting? Last time you supported Tribute Brown and she won, so. Yeah, last time I supported Tribute Brown. I saw I saw the footage yeah. I know Tribute is somebody that when she says she wanna do this, she do everything humanly possible to okay. get her done in a positive direction. I live here with her. The apartment in Tribute apartment right near me. I think you see me window down. Yes. That where Tribute live. So I know her, I know what she stands for and I know what she wants. So I decided to support her and I did. But for this, I've been watching all of the, the, the interview, video, what the difference between the female, what the difference between water and you mail, ocean, you mail, you mail, all about the team. I think ready to tell that I'm not really ready to support somebody, but I think I will support somebody. Once they get in the house, eh? Yes, because it's all about the same entertainment. This like be real. So I just gotta pick somebody to support. Yeah. I just gotta be supportive in the process. So I will be on my mask and go back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a gradual process. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for being here and doing this with me. Um, is there anything you would like to say to your fans, people who have followed your craft for a while? People like me. Yeah. And you have to apologize <laughs> for bringing people like me on me. Well, firstly, let me say I apologize for all the impact when it comes to your message that you've been, you've been sending me since. Two years, three years, four years ago. What I have to say to my fans out there, I just want to let you know that you guys are the reason why I'm here to be interviewing today. I appreciate 100%. I just want to tell you that don't stop supporting poor film comedy. I got more stuff coming up and I won't disappoint you. I'm here for you and I want you to be there for me. Well, thank you for following. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow to see a lot of interesting content and a lot of unfiltered journeys. Bye. Thank you.